United States Naval Academy at Annapolis, Maryland, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, and your host, John Amici. Ladies and gentlemen, and greetings from Annapolis, on the banks of the Severn, where Edgar Bergen and Ray Noble and Dale Evans and all of us have been spending a thrilling Sunday with the future officers of our Navy. As usual, we've been conducting ourselves strictly according to regulations, with one exception. And that exception, of course, is Charlie McCarthy. Annapolis, my pretty Annapolis. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, sailor. Oh. Well, greetings, mate. Uh, that's you, swabs. <laughs> Man the sails, muzzle the mate. <laughs> Lower the sheet, change the bedspread. <laughs> Hello there, stowaway. Oh. Oh, you heard? Yes, I heard. The Admiral told me everything. Hey, Ed. Yes. Tattletail. Yeah. <laughs> so you come down here and you go on a warship without an invitation? Yes, sir. And you're thrown in the brig? Yes, sir. Yes. I don't let any grass grow under my feet. Yeah. <laughs> what ship was it? Uh, the Rena Mercedes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a mighty fast boat, fellas. <laughs> Is that a cruiser or a battleship? Well, it's a sort of uh, a 200-foot dinghy, I see. <laughs> With a weasel engine, huh? Tell me, Charlie, how do you like the Navy? That's the life for me, Mr. Meacham. Oh, that's fine, Charlie. What rating are you going out for? Well, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I'm going to be a, 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 a swatter on a mosquito boat. Uh... <laughs> you mean you're going to man the citronella gun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why, squirtingly. Oh, <laughs> Then cast off, men. It's heave ho and anchors away with Don Amici and eight stalwart Annapolis midshipmen. <laughs> Sail navy down the bay, anchors away. We'll never change our course. We're from the USA. We've got a job to do. Oh. Go sailing on to victory. Everybody drink up while you may. Oh, you're gonna sail at break of day. Drink away, drink away. Oh, you sail at break of day. Very good, very good. Yeah. Hey, what did you think of it, Charlie? Well, I thought it was very nice. Uh, but, but did you notice something, huh? What? Uh, that Ray didn't seem to have his mind on his music? Well, Charlie, uh, yeah, yes, uh, but don't say anything else. Why, he's going to get his cut off his... <laughs> Oh, pardon me for butting in, Edgar. Yes. I'm in a bit of a dilemma, old chap. Uh, you're what? I'm all a Twitter, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, you're all of that, all of that. <laughs> well, Ray, what's the trouble? Oh, well, you see, Edgar, I received this letter from someone who's simply mad about my music. Oh, I see. Oh, well. Well, who is it? Yeah. Well, uh, Charles, it's a, it's a young lady admirer of mine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Her name is rather charming, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Her name is Beryl T. Bagel Baker. Oh, <laughs> A girl admirer of yours? <laughs> yes. Not really. <laughs> it does seem fantastic, doesn't it? Utterly. 
<laughs> well, her handwriting is certainly unusual. And yes. look, she she put the stamp on upside down, didn't she? <laughs> Why, so she did, yes. yes. <laughs> that means love, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, well, either that or she was standing on her head when she stamped it. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know that was likely somehow. Uh -oh. <laughs> I say, and fellas, uh, have you noticed the perfume? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, mm. I guess she probably has scads of money. Oh, on yeah, she, mm, I should probably say. Loaded with yeah, it, it smells like flirty gold, doesn't it? No. <laughs> no, I... I... Isn't that... Isn't that aroma... Isn't that called uh, enchantment? <laughs> yes, I believe it is. No, I think it's called uh, ecstasy in a glue factory. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Now, look, if you fellas are going to clown about this, I mean, I, I'd I rather not this blame, I don't blame you at all. Well, exactly. No. I mean, after all, the, the girl has paid me a very high compliment. Yes, she has. Now, Ray, I, why don't you read the letter to her? <laughs> no. Yeah? You know, I don't think I will. Oh, come on, Ray. Oh, we're all pals. No, please. I, oh, really, come no. on, Miss. No, but there are things one doesn't. Oh, me. but Go, this is guessing. Guessing cricket, I mean. Oh, all right, then. Never mind, Ray. Won't. Well, <laughs> all right, I will. I <laughs> Yes, well, well, it says, uh, it says, dear Mr. Noble, <laughs> that's me. Well, we suspected, yes. yes okay. <laughs> well, it says, uh, I want to tell you how much your music has meant to me. It has the beauty of a sunset and the sweetness of a morning rose. Your music intoxicates me. Yeah, she probably had a snoot for when she wrote it. <laughs> Charlie, yeah, please, now go ahead, Ray. That's beautiful. beautiful. Thank you, Ray. Beautiful. Well, she says, uh, continue, uh, my greatest joy in life is playing your music on my Edison gramophone. Oh. <laughs> I have all your latest cylinders. Uh-oh. That's all nice, I thought. Yes, yes, that's very well, nice. It really takes an interest. Yeah, it in gives you an idea of her age, too, doesn't it? <laughs> she must be in her middle flirties. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, well, that's uh, good. Uh, never mind. Uh, what else does she say besides the fact that she loved your music, Ray? Is there... Uh, well, oh, yeah. You know, is there... <laughs> well, it gets, it gets a little personal here. Yeah, yeah. good. Yes, oh, oh it's, yeah, it is. She says she wants to know if I'm the poetic and romantic type. Yes. Or if I'm athletic. Yes. And she wants to know how I look. How you look. <laughs> yes. Well, of course you're not going to tell her. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, well, I don't feel that I should tell her I'm handsome. And yet, uh, there you are. <laughs> Well, and yet you don't want to tell the truth. I know what you mean. Well, I don't know. I've never seen a mirror yet that did me justice. <laughs> <laughs> then you're convinced you're good-looking, huh? Well, Charlie, I may not be the handsomest man in the world. You may not. You can be more positive than that. <laughs> Nevertheless, Charlie, I do have blue eyes. Well, so you have blue eyes. So has a duck. So what? <laughs> Yes, but I don't have web feet. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rather good. <laughs> See, blue eyes, web feet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I think, Ray, you should tell her that you have a fine sense of humor. Too. Oh, yes. 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 I suppose, Edgar, you know, I really am dreadfully droll. Yes, just <laughs> dreadful, that's all. Yes. Don't knock yourself out, bro. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, you know, this is rather good sport, seeking out my hidden talent. Yes, yes, yes I, mean. I think so. <laughs> sort of a scavenger hunt, isn't it? <laughs> Well, uh, scarcely the word for it, Charlie, well, but still. Oh. Uh, nevertheless, you see, this, this young lady is definitely smitten. Oh, boy. Yes. Oh, yes. You see, do, uh, in her letter, she enclosed also, I ought to tell you. I don't think I will. Oh, come on, Ray. Hey. Oh, come on, lovey boy. Oh, no, really. Come on, Smoochie, what's in the letter? A little personal, you know. Well, that's all right. Well, no, it's, 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 it's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> you know. come, by all means. Now, what is it? Now? Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, she enclosed a lock of her hair. Oh, she did? Yes. <laughs> Would you like to see it? Oh, by all means, yeah. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Well, <laughs> here it is. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just imagine. <laughs> yeah. She clipped off a strand of her precious locks, you know. <laughs> oh. For me. <laughs> Actually, I... You can tell she has the touch of the romanticist. Yes, it looks like she has a touch of fox terrier, too. <laughs> Well, uh, so that's, that's a lock of hair. Yeah, that's the stuff I've been telling you about, Burgess. The girl, why, it's lovely day 11. The band, great nobles, of course. The song, The Sailor with the Navy Blue Eyes, and all to be the sailor in a song like this. 
From the shores of Montezuma to the wilds of Timbuktu, there's an ever-spreading rumor about a sailor with eyes of blue. He causes great commotion with his eyes that match the ocean. He's listed in the nautical who's who, yes. Who's got girls in every port hanging around like flies? The sailor with the navy blue eyes, ah. Who's the guy they love to buy dozens of socks and ties? The sailor with the navy blue eyes, when the boat comes Home after crossing the fall, he's still at sea, thinking, wondering who he's gonna take. A rowing on the lake, who's the gob, who's got a job, waving the most goodbye. The sailor with the navy blue eyes. Who's got a job Waving the most goodbye The sailor with navy blue Oh, <laughs> I say they old thing <laughs> Yes, Ray well, I, well, you see, there's a young lady uh, Miss Bagel Baker. Oh, oh, yes. I heard about her. Oh, you have, huh? Mm-hmm, yes, I But well, I'm a little worried. I have a hunch she prefers the athletic type. Oh, well, Ray, any girl admires an athlete, after all. Well, I've read every physical culture magazine I can find, but it doesn't seem to do any good. <laughs> well, look, Ray, maybe you don't exercise just exactly the way they tell you to. Oh, do you have to exercise, too? <laughs> Don, would you call Ray the athletic type? Ray, to tell you the truth, you're not. And I've been intending to talk to you about that, too. About what, old boy? Well, about the way you've been looking lately. You mean I don't look well? Oh, no, no, you don't, Ray. Week after week, you look worse and worse, and right now, you look like the week after next. <laughs> I don't know what I can do about it, Don. Well, why, why don't you try exercise? I did, old chap. I used to put the shot. Never could remember where I put it. <laughs> Ray, wouldn't you like to have those mighty, massive, manly muscles, those heavy Herculean hips, those shapely Samsonian shoulders? <sighs> yes, I would. And I'm the man who can help you. Uh, where's this place located, Don? Ray, it is a beautiful spot, right up in the heart of the hypochondriac. Uh -huh. Why? <laughs> I'll have you feeling like a new man in no time. Well, I'll pack my portmanteau. <laughs> McCarthy's muscle toya. Is your body shot in? Is your torso even more so? <laughs> it is? Well, see us and we'll send you home full of vim, vigor, and rigor mortis. <laughs> Goodbye, ya. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, old chap. <laughs> I'm Ray Noble. Oh. Well, what can we do for you, sir? Well, tell me, uh, confidentially, do I look seedy? Oh, yes, indeedy. <laughs> Did you get that awful pallor? Well, perhaps it's because I came here on a train and uh, sat in the pallor car. No. <laughs> Rather good, I thought. <laughs> oh, I, really, I, I don't think any time now. Yes, Wonderful. yes. Well, we try and cure you. <laughs> I can forgive you for being puny, but not for being punny. I'll turn you over to our head trainer, Bicep Samichi. Oh, Bicep. Yeah. Yeah, what is it, Hoyman? A uh, bicep. Yeah. Because he's the famous Mr. Novel. He just wobbled in. <laughs> oh, well, always pleased to meet a new clientele. Yeah. Glad to know you, Mr. Nerbo. <laughs> pull, up a, pull up a ligament and sit down. <laughs> hey, 
Thank you, Mr. Biceps. Thank you. Uh, biceps, do you think you can put Mr. Noble in the punky condition? Why, it's a cinch. When I get through with him, I'll be able to tear a phone book in half. Yeah. <laughs> I say that should be awfully jolly. Then I'll be able to find my phone number in just about half the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a funny fella, ain't he? Very funny fella. Just absorb my muscles. Will you feel how formed they are? I say, oh boy, can you wrestle? Oh, can I wrestle? Uh, buddy, I can lick any guy half my size. Oh, yeah. I know, but I, 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 I can do it. Now, the first thing you got to learn, Mr. Noble, is perseverance. It's lick old That's not with a bending exercise. All right, right old chap. All right. All right, now, bend. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, three. Go on. Let's see. It's six. No, it's wrong. Uh, eight. Uh, 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 uh. That settles it. I'm going to learn to count. That's right. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do, madam? What can we do for you? Is this the place where you build up men? Yes, then, Mr. Page, yes. Well, build up two or three for me. I'll be back in half an hour. <laughs> All right, now, Mr. Noble, face the wall. No, turn around. Let the wall face you. You mean like this, old boy? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now I'm going to give you my breathing exercise. Make like a vacuum cleaner. Pardon? <laughs> Make like an accordion. Inhale the climate. Yeah, take a deep breath. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like this, huh? How do you do? Uh, yes, how do you do? Uh, I am Ursula Twing, and I'm here today. Are you? Yes, I'm here today Good. because I am, because I'm a dancer. Uh, you're a dancer? Oh, yes, I am. I certainly am, and I would like to polish up my ballet. Oh, I see. You want a stomach, a stomach rub? Uh, no. <laughs> if you step right over here, we'll put you in a special steam cabinet. Oh, is this it? Yes. Isn't it a beauty? Well, how does it work? Well, it gets up steam, see, and this little whistle starts to blow. I'll show you. Isn't that lovable? <laughs> Beautiful thing, ain't it? Oh, now sorry. step in and sit down, will you? That's right. Leave your head sticking out though, will you? Yeah, of course. And we'll close the door there. Are you comfy, pal? Well, yes and no. Well, that's near enough. Uh -huh. Well, I know, but how much steam will you give me? Well, we could spare uh, enough to press your suit. <laughs> About five pounds ought to do it. Hey, maybe we ought to give him ten. Let's give him twenty. Looks like a nice fella. All right, we'll make it twenty-five. Let's make it thirty. We compromise. Thirty-five. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, it seems such a waste of time just to sit here. Oh, oh, I, I wish I'd brought a dozen clams with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, so long, Mr. Twain. Say, is it perfectly safe to leave me here? Why, well, yes. Will you hear the whistle? I say, old chap, I'm still waiting, you know. Oh, look at it. It's Mr. Nerva. Oh, Mr. Nerva. Yes, but I've been standing here breathing for ten minutes. Oh, Thank what you. a shame. Well, you can stop breathing now. Oh, thank you awfully. Thank you very much. What? Now, now I'm going to give you my special rub down. <laughs> oh, a rub down, huh? <laughs> I have no experience with this sort of thing. Should be fun. <laughs> no, just lie down on the table. That's it. Now, here we go. Ouch! Patty cake, patty cake, you broken down man. I'll make you one eight jumps as fast as I can. Ouch! Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> you know, Mr. Noble, I teach singing too. There goes the steam cabinet. Oh. Yeah, there goes Oiso. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> pardon me, uh, yes, pardon me, uh, please. Oh, you popped out of the steam cabinet, didn't you? Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, oh. well, get on back in. You need some basting. Yeah, or land basting, yeah. <laughs> now, don't be afraid, Mr. Twing. Chin up, stout fella. Yes, but that's just it. I'm not a stout fellow. Oh. No, I am not, and because if I were, I wouldn't keep popping out of that little old hole in the top. Oh. <laughs> Put Ursula back in the cabinet. But don't point him at me. <laughs> okay, here you go, boy. So Well, all right, I'll try it once more, but I don't think... Well, how do you do? Well, how do you do, too, madam? Well, I just dropped in to say thank you. What for? Well, you know, you told my husband if he took a health course, he'd be strong as a horse. Yes. And is he? Is he? Tell him, Archibald. <laughs> There she blows, old faithful. Oh, surprise. 
<laughs> here I am again. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Yeah, get back in there, bud. You ain't done yet. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. I certainly am. The very thought of going back in that steam cabinet makes my flesh creep. Did you? Well, in fact, I think my flesh has already crept. Yeah, it has. Yeah. And I just, I just hate being blown out of that thing, and now it's my turn to blow. And before I get myself into a tizzy, I think I'll say goodbye, so goodbye. Oh, come, 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 come now. You're not leaving now, Mr. Tweed. Well, I certainly am. I've you never am? been up in the air so much in my life. That's our motto. Keep them flying. We'd like to present one of the favorite children's stories of all time, Little Red Riding Hood. However, with one slight variation. We've always heard Little Red Riding Hood's version. Tonight, Charlie McCarthy thinks we ought to hear the wolf's side of the story. <laughs> According to Charlie, this is what really happened. I am the wolf. And you know what happened to me. They operated on me to remove one grandmother. But I was innocent. Let me tell you how I got into this mess. It all began in Red Riding Hood's cottage. I'm home, Father. Any messages for me? Oh, yes, Red, my daughter. I want you to drop in on your poor ailing grandmother and give her this oxtail soup that I fixed for her. Why, Father, I didn't think you knew how to make oxtail soup. Oh, it's actually very simple. You just go as far back on the ox as you can and uh, dunk. <laughs> Grandmother? Yes, but do be careful, Red. There's a wicked wolf in the woods, and if he starts to run after you, shout. Oh, I will. After he catches me. <laughs> after he catches you. Well, if I'm going to shout, I want to have something to shout about. Well, there was Little Red Riding Hood on her way to her grandmother's house. Unless something more interesting turned up. Little did I know, I was her target for tonight. There I was, lying under a tree, looking for butterflies. I was too bashful to look at the birds and bees. When she sashays up to me in a strapless, backless riding hood. Hello, you great, big, gorgeous wolf. Now, 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 now you stand back, lady. You're, you're, you're singeing my fur. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit down next to you on this log? Well, I suppose that'll be <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you know, lady, you 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 kind of smell kind of pretty. Oh, thank you. It's a perfume I'm wearing called Nuit d'Amour. Oh, as much as that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What's that you're wearing? <laughs> you noticed it, huh? Yes. That's go for hole number five. <laughs> Oh, Wolfie, I'm sitting on one end of this log, and you're sitting on the other end. Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Well, doesn't it give you any ideas? Well, I don't know. I just... Oh, yeah! You want to play seesaw? <laughs> oh, they're not making wolves the way they used to. Look, I'll explain it to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll move a little closer if you move a little closer. Well, okay. Now a little closer. Okay. Oh, there. You passed me. <laughs> I've played this game before, girl. <laughs> oh, Wolfie. Why are you so afraid of girls? Well, now, now, you take my brother. He met a girl. He put his arms around her and she screamed and before he knew it. Yes? Skin dyed and passing for mink. <laughs> I'm going to find myself a real date. Uh, Wolfie, honey, uh, do me a favor and deliver this soup to my grandmother. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. please, yes, Wolfie, pretty well, please. So, Little Red turned on to tears and me, I got soft-hearted. And besides, I figured I was helping a sweet little old lady. When I got to that gray-haired grandma, the first thing she said to me when she saw me was, uh, Oh, goody, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a wolf. 
that's the best kind. <laughs> Holy smokes, it runs in the family. <laughs> Calm down, Grandma. Act your age, will you? Age? I may be a grandmother, but I'm still young. I'm just pushing 40. Yeah, well, you must be pretty strong. <laughs> You pushed it right into 70. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Come on, lover boy. How about a game of spin the hot water bottle? <laughs> no, no, Granny, no. I just came here because Red Riding Hood sent me, and I brought you some oxtail soup. Oxtail? Yeah. I'd rather have ox's foot. What's the idea there? Well, I want something with a kick in it. <laughs> Nail down my wig, Sonny. I'm blowing my top tonight. Somebody must have spiked her brand flakes. You're right. I did. Oh. But it's so sweet of you to bring poor old grandma that soup. Because I can't do any cooking. You see, I hurt my hand. Oh, what a pity. What a pity. Uh, wh what did you do to it? I scratched my knuckles trying to make four the hard way. <laughs> I'm entered in the mambo contest. Dancing the mambo at your age? Oh, Grandma, how, how, how are you going to wind up? I'm wound up. Now I'm ready to let go. <laughs> Come back, Grandma. Well, what do your granddaughter, Red Riding, would say if she finds that you're out? She mustn't. Wolfie, you've got to cover for me. Well? Here, put on my lace cap and my no. bed jacket and hold down the fort for me. Woo! there's going to be a hot time. And hot time tonight. <laughs> How I get in some of the darndest messes And that's the truth, so help me There I was in the lace cap and the bed jacket Doubling for Grandma When all of a sudden I, oh. Grandma! Grandma! It's alive! It's a red Oh, now I'm in the spot I gotta be grabbing now Let it come in Hello, Grandma why, your feet are sticking out of the covers and they look so furry. Yes, they do, don't they, darling? <laughs> and those are woolen booties, dearie, I'm wearing. Booties? Yeah. But, Grandmother, there are long claws on them. No, so there are, yes. And those are the needles. I'm still knitting them. <laughs> Why, Grandmother... What a strange-looking nose you have. Yes, well, I'll tell you, I broke it when I was an actress. I overshot the runway. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. You're not my grandma. You're the wolf. Okay, you've got me now. Oh. This time you won't get away. Come on, give me a kiss. No, 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 I won't. Do it. All right for you. I'm going to fix you. No. Help! No, Now, there's a new twist on the old badger game. Help! Help! Oh, shut 